Yes, so hello everyone, this is Akhilesh Bhagwat and in this video we are going to learn about what is graphology and how it works. Okay, so people are going to ask you this question for sure 100% if you are explaining graphology or signature analysis to someone. So it's better to have some basic knowledge about it. Okay, and also you must also know how it works because people will first ask what and then they will ask how it's the human tendency to ask questions okay if something is new so let's begin and after this video i believe you will get the idea about what is graphology and how it works so let's just dive in yes so this is you now it doesn't matter if if I am a male, okay, if you are female, then this is you, okay. So, this is you and daily you think a lot of thoughts, okay, a lot of emotions, okay. For example, if you are feeling happy, then that's great. If you are feeling sad, then that's also great. It teaches you something. Yet, if you are feeling low, then you may not share it with people, okay. A lot of people, there are some personal problems about us or some insecurities about us that we may not even share with our close people be it our best friend or be it anyone okay so such emotions are known as the personal emotions these emotions just stay inside us and we never share them why because we have fear that someone may start just teasing us or we just feel insecure about sharing that as well okay so where do those emotions go well those emotions just stay inside our head okay inside our brain and if those emotions persist and keep staying inside our head then we are going to start overthinking right so it's like if if we have been told that if you think a lot of thoughts one thought again and again again and again then you are going to start overthinking right and if you are thinking the negative thought then you are going to get depressed depressed or stressed right so in order to remove those thoughts which are not shared by us to other people other humans okay we our brain needs an outlet to those problems okay or to, to those thoughts which are not shared or i call it personal emotions as we don't share and our brain tend to find that outlet through our hands through our handwriting have you ever wondered why the people or the psychologist or even your mom dad tell you to write down the things that you you want to do okay we have been told if you know about law of attraction then you know that we have been told to write down our goals right if you if you know any psychologist or if you are a psychologist or if you read a lot of books then you may also have got or know about journaling as well okay so which people top people do journaling each day why do they do that it's because when you write something down, when you put something down, all that thoughts that you are having inside your head come into your writing. Okay, from your hand to your handwriting. Okay, is transported, you can say the transportation happens and those thoughts are just, they just come into the page. Right, so in short our brain finds that outlet for those personal emotions through our handwriting as well as signature both okay so what is graphology in short well graphology is a science which allows us to become knowledgeable about ourselves. okay so it helps us know about ourselves discover ourselves know our weaknesses strengths okay and it also help us improve or change our personality as well we are going to study that as well so don't worry so how to explain it the graphology in simple words we think a lot of thoughts and emotions right and those emotions are cannot be shared as they are personal right so our brain stores those personal emotions 
and now if we store them for longer time we are going to get depressed and stressed out so in order to avoid that our brain wants us to survive right so for that it finds outlet through handwriting through when we write something okay and then we put into the paper the the reason we have been told to do journaling we have been told to write down our emotions then throw the page on in the trash can right so that help us to gain clarity and that's the reason during the start of our exam we are having very clear handwriting and as the time passes at the end of our exam our handwriting becomes dirty or it becomes messy why because our mind is running very fast and so does our hands right so if someone ask you how graphology works or what is graphology so you can tell them graphology is just a science which allows us to study someone or it help us know someone through their handwriting okay it help us know their personality their strengths their weakness from their handwriting and signature amazing right and how it works well firstly we think daily thoughts our emotions whatever emotions or thoughts we think on the daily basis our brain finds that outlet of moving all those emotions out of the brain through handwriting okay now if someone asks you how graphology works then you can tell them this process because people will understand this in a much more simpler manner right now in graphology there are two types okay so first one is the handwriting okay first one is the handwriting and the second one is the signature both have their own points okay their own cons their own pros okay we are going to study about signature and handwriting okay so both are important you cannot say handwriting is more important or signature is more important yet graphologist or most of the people tend to give handwriting more importance and signature mm, not that much importance yet signature is important as well why because it is one of the easiest thing to get started in graphology handwriting have around 26 letters right 26 letters uh, alphabets a b c d and each alphabet have their own sub traits their own subtraits, different different types of traits now imagine how many things you have to study to become expert at handwriting analysis in signature it's different if you eliminate the letters if you only study the signature related stuff then you can learn the signature much more quickly right so it's better to first learn signature than handwriting it depends on you yet i prefer signature analysis because you can master signature analysis more quickly and then you can move to handwriting one right so that's all for this video i believe you got the answer about how graphology works and what is graphology graphology if you can write this down or you can just write what i am saying what is graphology graphology is a science which help us know someone's personality be it our own be it our friends strangers personality through their handwriting as well as signatures okay in short and how it works well we think a lot of emotions daily on a daily basis and we cannot share them so our brain stores those emotions and if those emotions are stored for a longer time we are going to start overthinking so in order to fix that our brain just outlets everything that we have been thinking out through our hands and it goes through handwriting okay that's the reason during exam time our handwriting becomes messy at the end and our handwriting is clear at the start because we have clear mind at that time right thoughts are clear so that's all for this video i believe you got the idea about how graphology works and what is graphology so now if someone asks you what is graphology and how it works then i believe you will be able to answer them so that's all for this video i believe you